Hi, this is Dr. Kat Fleece at Central New Mexico Community College. Here we're going to very, very quickly take a look at internal respiration, which really is just the opposite of external respiration. The reason why I say that internal respiration, which is the gas exchange at the level of the tissues, is opposite that of external respiration because all of our partial pressures and gradients are reversed, meaning that we have low partial pressure for oxygen, high partial pressure for carbon dioxide in the tissues compared to the blood that is arriving. Partial pressure of oxygen in the tissues is always lower than in the blood in the arterial, in the arteries, and while while the, the partial pressure for oxygen in the venous blood that is draining the tissues is always going to be about 40 millimeters of mercury. For carbon dioxide, it's about 45. Let's take a look at our figure again. So after gas exchange has occurred at the level of the lungs, remember we refer to that as external respiration. Literally, our blood has become oxygenated so that we are now at a partial pressure of, for oxygen of about 100 and if we add our partial pressure for carbon dioxide in our pulmonary veins, it's going to be at 40. So this blood now is going to, via the aorta, make it to the tissues. And if we compare the partial pressures of our gases between the tissues and the blood, then we see our nice pressure gradient for oxygen while that for carbon dioxide is lower again, and we know that that's not a problem because of the much higher solubility for carbon dioxide. So we're kind of reiterating what we've done before already, but this is stressing the fact that we're dealing here with internal respiration at the level of the tissues. So the blood that now leaves these tissues is going to be oxygen poor, and therefore we see that the partial pressure for oxygen is back down to 40 and that for carbon dioxide is slightly up to 45 at sea level. We can now add another check mark after internal respiration, which means that we're only left with the transport of gases to finish all the different parts that make up respiration.